Hello, you are welcome to Master C Math Lab. Here, yeah. how to solve this nice algebra equations, and uh, we have to find x plus y. Let this be equation one, and this be equation two. Now, from equation one, we have x squared minus y squared equals to ten. From here, let's take the square on both sides. Square this side and uh, also we square this side. Then the square on this side follows from a minus b square, which will be a square minus two ab plus b square. So now applying this here, this gives us x square then square minus 2x square y square then plus y square or square now equals to yes square cancel square roots and we're left with 10 here then from this the power here multiply from log indices so here give us x raised to power 4 then minus 2 x square y square then plus also here we have y raised to power 4 which is equal to 10 now let's bring x power 4 y power 4 together and here they give us x power 4 plus y raised to power 4 then minus 2 x y or square now we can bring this square together and we bring it out and this is equals to 10 from here the next step we can substitute what we have here that is we have from equation 2 x y is same thing as root 10 from equation 2 so here we have x y equals to root 10 and let's bring x y here and put it as root 10 so we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 2 root 10 square equals to 10 and here square cancel square roots we have 10 left and 2 times 10 that's 20 so here we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 minus 20 now equals to 10 now from here let's take minus 20 to this side and become plus so x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 is now equals to 30 so label this as equation 3 from here then when we have this identity that is from x square plus y square or square the expansion here will give us x square square then plus y square square then plus 2x square y square and uh, which we can write again when this power multiplies and we take this power half so we have x square plus y square all square will now give us x power 4 plus y raised to power 4 then plus here we have 2xy all square now we can substitute equation 3 now here that is x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 equals to 30 and also xy from equation 2 equals to root 10 then this becomes x square plus y square all square now we give us 30 that's this then plus 2 times root 10 all square here yeah, square cancel square roots then 2 times 10 that's 20 20 plus 30 here yeah, give us 50 so we have x square plus y square all square now equals to 50 from here then let's take the square roots on both sides to cancel this square so taking square roots on this side 
square root on this side. Square we cancel the square roots here. Yeah. Then what we have here is x square plus y square equals to. Here we have plus or minus root 50 from here. Then it indicates that here we have two possible cases of this. This here, the case one here, we have x square plus y square to be equals to this is root 50 please plus or minus root 50 then here we have plus root 50 that's for case 1 then for case 2 this we have x square plus y square equals to minus root 50 then from the case 1 Let's solve from here first. When we have x plus y all squared, here the expansion here becomes x squared plus y squared, then plus 2xy. And uh, what we have here, we can substitute x squared plus y squared here, and this gives us x plus y all square now equals to root 50 then plus 2 is xy and from equation 2 xy is root 10 and from here we can substitute root 10 as root 40 because when we have root 10 here same thing as root 4 times 10 and that's root 40 from there so when we substitute this as root 40, we have x plus y all square now become root 50 plus root 40 from here. Then what we have here, we can factor 10 and 10 as from here. That means we have x plus y all square here equals to here. We can write this as root. 5 times 10 or 10 times 5 that will give us 50 then plus also root here we have 10 times 4 that also give us 40 then which we can write as x plus y all square now equals to when we separate this we have root 10 times root 5 then plus also root 10 times root 4 and here root 10 common we can take it out so that we have x plus y all square now equals to root 10 into bracket root 5 plus root 4 and root 4 here is 2 then what we are interested in finding is x plus y so taking square root on both sides we have square root on this side this square we cancel this square root then we have x plus y from here now equals to plus or minus square root of root 10 then times root 5 plus 2 then when we separate this you know the product here then we have x plus y now equals to plus or minus square root of root 10 then times square root of root 5 root 5 plus 2 rather so we have square root of root 5 plus 2 from here then square root of root 10 here means we have 10 raised to power half then raised to power half which is 10 raised to power 1 over 4 which is 4 root of 10 so we can equally write this as 4 root of 10 so we have x plus y now equals to plus or minus 4 root of 10 then times square root of here we have square root of 
means y plus 2. So here we have the value of x, which are 2. Solution here, 1 is plus, the other is minus. Then for case 2, when we look at what we have here, similarly we can solve from here. And uh, from this expansion which we have, x plus y all square equals to x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. We can substitute and this will become x plus y all square now equals to x squared plus y squared here minus 250 then plus 2xy and xy is to 10 from equation 2 then also we have this to be x plus y all square now equals to minus 250 then plus 2 root 10 we can write it as root 40 and uh, from here which we can write as x plus y all square equals to root 40 minus root 50 so when we look at this this side will be giving us positive number and this side will be giving us negative so we are going to have a negative number so this will not give us any solution from here so we reject this side because there is no real solution yet no real solution from here then the, sol the real solution we have from here is we have these two solutions that is x plus y the first one is 4 root of 10 then times what we have here as square root of root 5 plus 2 and also we have x plus y equals to minus 4 root of 10 then times square root of root 5 plus 2 so these are the two resolutions we have for this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give a thumbs up we have a comment don't hesitate to put it in the comment section thank you see you next class and bye for now